Something strange is moving through our solar system, an icy traveler from the stars known as 3I Atlas. At first, astronomers thought it was just another interstellar comet, but then its behavior started breaking every rule in the book. It glows when it shouldn't, moves too smoothly, and seems to shift just enough to dodge our best telescopes. Now, a Harvard scientist claims 3I Atlas might actually be avoiding detection on purpose. Is this just a bizarre natural object? Or could something or someone be controlling it from the darkness between the stars? The unexpected visitor named 3I Atlas when astronomers noticed a faint moving object in the data from the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, in mid-2025, few imagined it would become one of the most debated discoveries of the decade. The object was catalogued as 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor after Oumuamua and 2I Borisov. It arrived from deep interstellar space, cutting through our solar system on a wide hyperbolic orbit that proves it was not born near the Sun. Within days of detection, observatories around the world began tracking it, using instruments in Hawaii, Chile, and even space-based telescopes to measure its speed, brightness, and composition. Early images showed a glowing coma, suggesting the object was venting gas and dust. That meant it was active, not a dead asteroid, but the way it brightened and released material didn't behave like a typical comet. The gas output seemed too consistent for the distance it was from the sun, and the light signature hinted at unusual compounds. These oddities sparked both excitement and confusion among researchers. Some said 3II Atlas could be the most pristine example of an interstellar comet ever seen, carrying unaltered materials from another star system. Others pointed out strange details that didn't quite add up. The most striking clue came from how stable its tail appeared over time, suggesting something was influencing its venting in a controlled way. As data continued to pour in, one Harvard scientist made a bold claim that 3I Atlas might be deliberately avoiding detection, as if it were an engineered object masking its true nature. That single idea instantly pushed the discovery from a routine observation into a headline mystery, the data that changed everything. After its discovery, 3I Atlas became a top priority for global observatories. Every major telescope capable of detecting faint moving objects joined in, from the Pan-STARRS array in Hawaii to the Very Large Telescope in Chile. The object's brightness curve was charted daily, revealing steady outgassing far beyond what was expected for its distance. It was losing water, carbon monoxide, and dust in large quantities, even when sunlight should have been too weak to drive that reaction. Spectrographic studies found odd patterns in the reflected light, more carbon dioxide and complex hydrocarbons than expected, plus a strange lack of sodium lines typically seen in similar comets. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared sensors toward it, the heat readings didn't match the theoretical model for a purely icy body. The emission seemed to pulse slightly, like something regulating its temperature. That detail, small as it was, became fuel for speculation. Researchers tried to reproduce the data using models that included irregular rotation, internal layering, or gas jets firing in bursts but none fit perfectly. The surface seemed smoother than normal comets, with fewer bright icy patches. The object's trajectory was also slightly off from predictions based on gravity alone. That could happen if it was releasing gas unevenly, but the pattern looked more deliberate than random. By late 2025, data had been gathered from radio telescopes, listening for natural emissions, but nothing unusual had been detected. Still, the visual evidence hinted at something that couldn't yet be explained. The unusual steadiness of 3I Atlas reminded scientists of the first interstellar object, Oumuamua, which showed similar non-gravitational acceleration. But this time, the clues were stronger and more instruments were watching. The deeper the astronomers looked, the less 3I Atlas seemed to behave like any comet we knew. Why some experts saw signs of control. As the World Space Agency's coordinated to monitor 3EI Atlas, 
One voice stood out among the scientific crowd. A Harvard astrophysicist known for his previous work on Oumuamua suggested that 3i Atlas might not be acting entirely on its own. His reasoning wasn't built on fantasy, but on patterns that appeared too consistent to be random. The constant level of activity, the near-smooth orbital adjustments, and the spectral data that hinted at reflective materials all added up to something worth questioning. He didn't declare it was artificial, but rather said it was behaving in a way that looked like intentional control. Most of the scientific community disagreed, explaining that cometary physics can easily produce confusing data when viewed from limited angle. Jets of gas can mimic propulsion. Dust tails can alter brightness curves and sunlight pressure can nudge trajectories. But even critics admitted that 3i Atlas didn't fit the usual model. The Harvard researcher went further, suggesting the object could be using volatile compounds as a form of controlled venting to minimize detection. That meant, hypothetically, if it were a probe or an engineered body, it might manage its reflective properties to appear as a natural comet. It was a bold idea, and though many found it far-fetched, it forced people to pay attention to the data instead of assumptions. The same scientist had argued years earlier that Oumuamua's strange acceleration might be the result of a thin, light sail-like structure, and those arguments returned to public discussion once 3i Atlas showed similar anomalies. Space agencies and observatories decided to dedicate more observing time to check these claims. The result was a flood of data, radio silence, but continuous thermal irregularities. Whether it meant technology or just another unknown comet process was impossible to say yet, but the idea of something hiding in plain sight caught the world's imagination. The natural explanations that compete. For every bold hypothesis, there are dozens of grounded ones. Scientists who specialize in comet chemistry quickly built alternative models to explain three I atlas without invoking design. One theory suggested it could be a loosely bound clump of ices from a cold, carbon-rich star system with a composition unlike anything in our neighborhood. Its density might be lower, so sunlight penetrates deeper and releases gas steadily instead of in bursts. That could explain the even venting pattern. Another idea involved subsurface layering. Pockets of volatile ices trapped beneath darker material could vaporize slowly, producing continuous emission. The slight non-gravitational push could then be a side effect of gentle, balanced jets. Other experts pointed to the possibility of rotational tumbling, where the nucleus spins in multiple directions, making the apparent motion seem smoother than it is. These explanations sounded reasonable and matched the lessons learned from 2i Borisov, which showed us that interstellar comets can differ wildly from local one. 2i Borisov had high carbon monoxide output and unusual dust grains, proving that alien comets could carry chemical surprises. The same might be true for 3i Atlas. The controversy wasn't about rejecting science, it was about which model fit the data better. As new images arrived, computer simulations kept evolving, adjusting gas flow, rotation rates, and particle size assumptions. None could perfectly replicate every observation, but they came close. Even those skeptical of the artificial idea admitted that 3i Atlas challenges what we think we know about comet formation beyond our system. Whether it's a natural traveler or something built with purpose, it's changing how astronomers define normal in interstellar exploration. The connection to Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. The story of 3i Atlas doesn't stand alone. It exists in a chain of discoveries that started with Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019. Oumuamua was the first interstellar object ever detected, and its strange behavior, accelerating slightly without showing a tail, forced astronomers to rethink what could travel between stars. 2i Borisov arrived two years later and finally looked like a normal comet with gas jets and dust plumes, confirming that some interstellar objects 
are just icy wanderers. 3i Atlas sits somewhere between the two. It has the activity of 2i Borisov, but the controlled looking motion of Oumuamua. That mix makes it fascinating. Studying these three objects together helps scientists refine detection techniques and better model how material escapes from other systems. The consistency of 3i Atlas's emissions compared to Borisov's chaotic bursts hints at different origins. Maybe it came from a region where cometary material condensed under different chemical conditions, producing more stable ices. Or maybe, as some argue, it's something else entirely. The main difference is in how quickly scientists mobilize this time. With Oumuamua, much of the data was gathered after it had already passed the sun and started leaving. Two, Iborisov was tracked in real time, but with limited instruments. For three, I Atlas telescopes were ready within days. The observations are broader, covering visible, infrared, and radio band, making it the most studied interstellar comet to date. Each one of these cosmic visitors adds a piece to the puzzle of what moves through our galactic neighborhood, whether lifeless chunks of rock or potential signs of advanced engineering. How C-2025, R2, SWAN, and SOHO added perspective. While 3i Atlas dominated headlines, another comet was lighting up the skies closer to home, C-2025-R2 SWAN. This bright comet, first spotted in data from the SWAN instrument aboard the SOHO spacecraft, became a favorite among amateur astronomers. It wasn't interstellar, but its timing helped researchers compare behaviors between a typical solar system comet and the strange new visitor. SWAN displayed a classic strong green coma, rich in diatomic carbon and cyanogen, substances that glow under sunlight. Its brightness increased rapidly as it approached the sun, following the predictable pattern that most comets show. Observers used it as a calibration target for instruments before turning those same sensors back toward 3i Atlas. The contrast was stark. SWAN's emissions matched textbook models, while 3i Atlas continued to defy easy prediction. Even the way its tail behaved, smooth, faint, and oddly aligned, was unusual. The SOHO satellite helped confirm SWAN's chemical composition and tail structure, while its companion data served as a baseline to double-check that nothing unusual was happening with the detectors themselves. In a sense, SWAN became the control sample for one of the strangest experiments in modern astronomy. While it gave stargazers a beautiful show, visible through binoculars, it also provided scientists with confidence that their instruments were reading correctly. Comparing the two comets side by side revealed just how strange 3E Atlas really is. Its lack of strong molecular emissions, its calm gas output, and its precise orbital shifts all stood out more clearly once a normal example was fresh in memory. SWAN reminded the world that most comets behave predictably. 3II Atlas, however, continues to bend those expectations. Inside the debate rooms of science, inside universities and observatories, the discussion around 3I Atlas grew intense. Researchers gathered for data sharing sessions, trading spectra, brightness graphs, and thermal maps. The tone was curious, but cautious. Everyone wanted to understand what was driving the behavior. The Harvard scientist who raised the idea of controlled evasion defended his position by focusing on patterns that, he argued, were statistically unlikely to occur naturally. Others countered that without direct evidence of artificial structure, such claims were premature. Teams ran independent analyses, trying to remove observational bias or instrumental noise that might have created false signals. Large language models trained on astrophysical data helped cross-check thousands of spectra for hidden features. None revealed evidence of metal alloys, structured panels, or repeating radio pulses. What they did find were faint variations in infrared absorption, possibly linked to complex organic material. That could point to a comet loaded with carbon-based compounds, which isn't unheard of, but might indicate chemical complexity from a different star system. The debate spilled over into the media, where sensational headlines sometimes distorted cautious scientific wording. Still, the discussions helped push interstellar research into mainstream attention. Grants were redirected, new instruments planned, and software updated to catch the next object sooner. 
The controversy didn't divide science, it energized it. Whether believers or skeptics, everyone wanted the truth, hidden behind three eye atlases' shimmering tail. Even space agencies outside the US, including those in Europe and Asia, began planning coordinated follow-ups. For them, this was more than a single discovery. It was a glimpse into what awaits as survey telescopes become sensitive enough to catch more interstellar visitors every few months. The stakes had never been higher for observational astronomy. The chase continued as 3i Atlas moves closer to the Sun its future observations promise to be decisive. Astronomers are watching to see whether its gas output changes sharply or stays steady, because either result will reshape theory. If the emissions spike, that means normal sublimation physics are at play. If they remain smooth, something more complex is happening. Advanced imaging systems are set to capture close-up data on dust particle sizes, tail orientation, and spin rate. Radio telescopes continue to listen for any narrow band signal, while optical arrays track brightness variations down to fractions of a percent. Space agencies are also studying whether a small probe could be redirected for a flyby, though the timing makes that difficult. The object's high speed, over 90,000 kilometers per hour relative to the sun, and steep trajectory make it hard to reach. Even so, simulation teams are exploring robotic missions that could intercept the next interstellar comet based on early warning systems. The lessons learned from Oumuamua, 2i Borisov, and now 3i Atlas are shaping that strategy. Each detection tightens the network of sky surveys, so the next time something comes in from the stars, humanity will be ready sooner. For now, 3i Atlas continues its silent passage glowing faintly as telescopes capture every flicker. The Harvard scientist still stands by his interpretation, and his critics remain firm in theirs. The data doesn't take sides, it only waits to be understood. The world keeps watching, aware that even if this visitor turns out to be natural, it has already changed the way we look for the unnatural. The mystery endures, carried on a trail of dust and light across the endless dark. What future missions could learn from 3i Atlas? Because 3i Atlas has reignited public and scientific interest in interstellar objects, several space agencies are already rethinking how to study them up close. NASA and the European Space Agency have concept designs for small interceptor missions that can launch quickly when a new object is detected. One plan involves a compact probe kept on standby in a parking orbit near Earth, equipped with high-speed propulsion to chase future targets. The idea is to reach an incoming body within months before it exits the inner solar system. Data from 3i Atlas, especially its unpredictable composition and rotation, helps engineers design instruments for dust collection, chemical sampling, and imaging. Even if a mission can't catch this specific object, the information guides how to prepare for the next one. The interstellar intercept concept has now moved from theory to planning because of what 3i Atlas revealed, that such visitors might come more often than once in a lifetime and each could hold unique clues about the chemistry and physics of distant planetary systems. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.